Hey, Jim here from the Car Show, guys. Well, I'm back in Michigan. 17 degrees, snow on the ground. Don't know why I didn't stay in Florida. It is what it is, I guess. Anyway, we've got this gap we've got to fill up now between now and 1st of May time frame when the show starts starting up here in Michigan. So I decided I'm going to do a little bit of a blog style video for you. Today I'm going to pick on one of my favorite cars, uh, one that I've never owned. And I've owned a lot of cars. I was fortunate enough as a young kid to, uh, my brother owned a used car lot. And so I was able to go in and buy up some nice muscle cars back in the day uh, for a reasonable amount of money. I've owned uh, 55, 57 Chevys, Novas, Camaros, uh, trying to think what else I had. I had a bunch of them, obviously. And I wish I had them all back because I'd be a multimillionaire at this point. But those days are behind us and we've got to move on. But the one car that I never owned was a Chevelle. Now, Chevelles uh, hit the showroom floors in 64 and they ran through 77. And a brand new Chevelle back in 1970, let me look at my notes here, I'm going to make sure I got it right. A 70 Chevelle base model was $3,439. Wish we had them back today. If you wanted a convertible, oh, that was going to cost you an extra 200 bucks. Hooey. Anyway, uh, Chevelles are iconic. They've been in over 1,600 movies out there. So, you know, everybody knows Chevelle. It's probably the most iconic muscle car out there in the, around today. Everybody wants one, including me. So what I'm going to do is I got a couple of clips here from on Chevelles that I took while I was down in Florida. I'm going to go past those, show you what I liked about them, and ultimately come down to the end and tell you, you know, what I would want as my dream Chevelle. So let's get started. I'm going to be looking down at my computer while this video is running, so bear with me. So we're going to start out, and I got the 70 Chevelle, first right out of the gate, pretty blue with silver stripes. That's, you know, really a nice car. And, uh, you know, body lines on a Chevelle, you, you can tell a Chevelle for a mile away. That's just, you know what they are when they're coming down the road and you can hear them when they're coming down the road. That's, you know, they are the best of the best. This one obviously has the long tail lights on the rear end of it, making it a 70. Uh, I love the interior on this one because it's got the bucket seats with the center shifter. That's what I want. And a Chevelle and then it has the original you know hub beauty rings with the hub knockoff hubcaps on it so that makes it right so the next one we're going into is a 72 Chevelle now this one's black with silver stripes again pretty car but it's also a convertible and it's also an SS 454 so this one's checking all the boxes here as we're going along as we walk down the side of the car here, we're going to whip around to the back and you're going to be able to tell it's a 72 because the taillights uh, has a iconic round taillights in the bumper. And the only thing about this car is we drift into the you know interior of the car. It's got the bucket seats, but it's got a shifter on the column. Down, that's kind of a downside for me on this one. But all in all, beautiful car. So here we are, um, the most rarest Chevelle that's out there right now. It's a 1970 Chevelle SS 454 convertible, and there was only 20 of these made. So if you ever run across one of those, I don't care what kind of condition it is, you better snatch it up because it's worth a small fortune right now. But if you're asking me what I want, I would take that last black Cheval, that 72 with a 454 in it, convertible. The black is my favorite cover on a car. But the only thing I would change out would be, obviously, I've got to have that uh, center shifter in there. So one of these days, when my wife's not watching, I'm going to spend my retirement funds, and I'm going to get me that Cheval. So you stick around, and we'll see if it comes true. So from now until the next time I see you, you know, stick around. We're going to do a couple more of these blog style videos to carry us over. Like I said, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And if I don't see you on here, I'll see you at the show.